Wake up, Link. Why does every Zelda game begin with Link waking up? Because he's a lazy sleeper. Pull yourself together, Link. Well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull witted. <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural, as wise the world is. I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions, the king of something that doesn't exist. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. Link, I have been watching you since you went to your forsaken fortress to rescue your sister. I understand that you desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand to anything, but such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands the monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon. Dorf. Human form is Ganondorf. Monster is Ganon. Get that right? Game. <laughs> I am a nerd, and bird dark realm ancient legends speak of. I am not near the seal of the gods fail, but now that Ganon has returned, or is once again threatened by evil magic. Tell me, Link, you want to save your sister from him? And we'll do anything to save her. I see. In that case, she'll guide you as we go forward, advising what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We need a great power that can wield us from much toil and hardship. Yes, yes, of course. To be departed to the great sea, but I'm getting ahead of myself. A bit embarrassing me, but I has no sail. But with no sail, can sail no seas. I brought you to this far east island with merchants dealing goods. Uh, find a sail. D -d -d -ah. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm um, merchants. No time to play. Immediately is your answer done. Not exactly, as this island is the hub of most of the side quests in the game. Alright then, yeah. Okay, so. Welcome to Windfall Island. Well, we got that guy strutting there like he thinks he has he's cool. We got these pigs. Got some little girls playing. Got over here. Uh, shop from the looks of it. Let's see what's this. Oh, hey, bombs. We could use some bombs. This would be the bomb shop. 10,000 rupees. What? Uh huh. Let's try and buy these. Yeah. So, yeah, this guy's overpricing his bombs quite a bit. I mean, most other Zelda games, you can just find those in the grass. <laughs> and, but, that's beside the point. That guy's... He doesn't care. Who is this guy? Seems to want our attention. Oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Uh, sweet daughter, Maggie was taken by villains in the Forsaken Fortress. What could they want with her, young maiden? Oh, crud. Oh, there's no single rupee, you know. Please. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of did. And here's a mailbox. Good morning. Welcome to the post service. Nothing for delivery. And, uh, hi there. If you can indulge me, please admit that I'm looking fine. Okay. Cool. Who's this guy? You looking for a sail? I have no idea where you find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Sail itself is not that hard to find. It's just right here. My sword is a strange one. I came across cursed seeds from a land far away, a land where blizzards blow violently, heading through this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds, and the island where I washed ashore there was one other person with the beast there was. Try to give him, like, that voice of, like, the, the guy from Jaws. 
But I dare say it was really arrested based on someone's first looks shown right in the chair. I locked my eyes on it. Yeah, we should do that. Uh, I'm so worried about him. Uh, but are uh, you not going to do something about us? Are you not a merchant? Okay, well, that's something else we got to do. So, why not? Uh, that would be this way. So let's go in and see what we got. Tingle. This guy. Looks slightly less creepy than he did Majora's Mask. Mmm. I see some green clothes and same green hats. If I look you'd say you, you could be a fairy. Goodness. Do you know why telepathy? That's why you say me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry. Tingle knows without you telling him. Sir. Yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I've been looking for you. Okay. Tingle. Can I talk? Uh, rescue him. Okay. I believe this was optional in the original Wind Waker, but in HD this is required because of a uh, new function they implemented into the Wii U version, which we'll get into, and I'll attempt to show off, but won't really factor into the gameplay at all. But you just rescue him through that switch. Hooray! Thank you so very much. Tingle, heartfelt tingle. Thanks. Tingle. Tingle. Kulurimpa. Become an item. The Tingle Bottle. Uh, yeah. You read a message to Meverse. It's very familiar with Meverse, but yeah, my heart's beating as one. Just don't write anything unpleasant. <laughs> and uh, yeah, in the original Wind Waker, he gave you an item called the Tingle Tuner, I believe it was. Oh, forgetting something important. You want to come to my island? Don't you? Don't, don't, don't you? Don't you? The Tingles charts. Why not? Uh, open on the map screen. If you don't need help charts, don't forget it. But yeah, um. Okay, enough. You get it. If you like to give your Tingle Bells and extra mm, Tingles, check out the back of the cell. Yeah, he gave you in the GameCube version the Tingle Tuner, which. Sorry, this is a message on the Wii U gamepad. So it's saying you can now send letters and Tingle Balls using Miiverse, set your bottle. Then uh, use another item that we're going to find pretty soon and adjust message settings and whatever. Um, it's just asking me for settings, so. So, yeah. That's not necessary, so uh, let's resume the game. So, uh, yeah. But there's an item back here that we're going to want to get, if I can crawl under here so I can get this rupee. That would be nice. So let's grab and pull this. And there's a passage right here. And this is kind of a maze, so you might want to be careful. If you don't go the right way, there's like this rat thing that's gonna like mess you up and like send you somewhere you don't want to go. So I believe this is the right way. To my best knowledge. I don't quite remember fully, unfortunately, but I believe this is the right way. Yes, it is. This is all, this part right here is optional, but you would need it for some special side quests. The Picto Box. Set it to use it with X, Y, or Z, record up to 12 pictographs. In the original Wind Waker, it was three. In Majora's Mask, it was one. So yeah, nice upgrade. Yellow rupees are 10 rupees. And uh, can, can't really chop up these skulls because we can't use our sword in here for some reason. And, uh, uh, last I've seen it's in the Picto Box, but sadly, uh, I was also caught, imprisoned. 
uh, yeah, they didn't confiscate it from you. Uh, recur and recover. Uh, yes. Yes, of course. Yes. So anyway. Uh, I'll show you what happens if you take the wrong route, wrong direction, any of those. The game is at least nice enough to tell you it went the wrong way by doing a kind of prank on you. Yeah. Hi, King of Red Lines. I haven't got what you want me yet, but uh, let's take a look at that Picto box, why don't we? So, we can do this. We can look around and such and take pictographs. And something I think is kind of stupid, but I guess it kind of makes sense for the time. You can take selfies. And actually make Link have a different facial expression with the D-pad. You can take selfies. In a Zelda game. I'm sorry, I'm just, I just, I just, I can't get over that. Uh, anyway, after that trauma, traumatic thing that just happened, let's, uh, keep going. Yes, we've already talked to you, good sir. Uh, what, what was your name? I don't remember this character's name, I'm sorry. Um, there's some side quests you can actually pull off. Like, taking a pictograph of this woman. And then showing it to her. Well, that's an excellent pictograph. I'm usually I look awful on film. I Maybe it's because it's black and white. That's a little hint at something a little later. But uh, I think we can erase this because it's not all that good. But anyway, uh, we rescued that man. So really, that's great. Another favor. Starting a little shop, but I have trouble. I have but one asset to my name. I wonder if you buy it for me, perhaps. Ah, uh, yes. 200. That is 80 rupees. We'll buy it. Precisely 80 rupees. Take that. The sale. The boat sale. There it is. Ah, uh, yes, it is a wonderful sale that we will use. But we're not done here yet. There's still some other things we can do. Well, these kids are just gonna surround us for some reason. Are you alone or what? You must feel pretty lonely walking around space by yourself. What are you doing anyway? What are you looking at, bud? Haha, <laughs> bud. What are you? Country room? I mean, look at that outfit. What a get up. Stink, mister. We ain't seeing your face or any before, bud. Town is our turf. Turf of the world. We're letting us kill our bees. Buzz buzz. Yeah. Wonderful. Please leave me alone. Seriously, what kind of school teaches these kids? Is there even a school? Oh, here's a school. Welcome to Miss Marie's School of Joy. Yeah, this isn't exactly a quest you can do right now, but it's going to come into play later. So I guess you might want to remember it. But there's other things we can do, such as this place right here. Oh, hello, Link. I want to play a game. Hey, welcome. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You want to play or what? All right, then. Um, welcome to the free time. The great Edward Dovalsky. Look sharp for me. Your soul protectors of this island. Admiral, Admiral, Red Lair, and all hands on deck. So I'm going to show the school's deadly giant squids are approaching. Oh, I should prepare for battle. But there. Ah, oh, I see the feet approach. These are three suits of a large one, a medium, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. So they take a fellow new radar to seek out the cause of these friends and enemies. You have you have 20 cannonballs that you could fire. So I suppose said four direct hits on the large, three and a medium, two and a small. And, yeah. Is that clear, sailor? Aye, aye, sir. Uh, 20 cannonballs. So this is essentially... A take on Battleship, I guess. It's pure luck, so good luck. Splish, splish, I do like the sound effects he gives, though. Splish, 
That's one. And I couldn't do it. Wonderful. Oh, bad news. Uh, Ten rupees per game for kids. Let's try again and uh, skip all this stuff. So, uh... Alright, that's one. This game is pure luck, so... Good luck. Where is it? Oh, come on. I was like one space away from it. Uh, let's cut until I get this right. There we go. 21 cannonballs, but whatever. Excellent, Rexy. Jesus, I have this piece from very proud. It's going to like to take you, Sailor. Hooray, yay. Thank you, Mr. Sailor. Take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. Yeah. The other thing's fighting town is fun, Rin. Yeah. But there's another thing we can get if we get under the 20 cannonballs. So let's see if I can do it now. Probably can't, but whatever. If not, I'll, I'll get some more rupees and come back. Alright, I actually have a 50 50 chance of getting us right. And. Yes! Good choice. Excellent work, Sailor. Uh, let's see, does that actually count? Does that have to be under 20 or can it be 20 exactly? Uh, treasure chart, yes! Treasure chart! Open this on the map screen. Place where treasure lights will be lit up. Sail that area and. Yeah, alright. So that's essentially how it is. The treasure chart. Uh, that's what I wanted. And that's Battle Squid. That's what the game is called. It's. It's a thing. And I guess one more thing I can show while we're here is this place right here. There's this guy who kind of creeps me out, to be perfectly honest. Why, young sir? You have very fine picto box. Are you a lot of pictographs as well? There can be no villains. Take your time. Look around. I implore you. And, uh, yeah. Why not? So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I can show about Windfall Island for now. Um, there's not a whole lot else left. Though there is some guy up here that we could talk to. That is kind of amusing, I will say. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if a boy like you will do. It's difficult to tell. My own daughter Milo was taken away from me for a frightening place called Forsaken Fortress. Best made to rescue her, but it's a different voyage, that cursed place. Ah, uh, worry about our welfare. Yeah. Sure. I uh, sure I'll pay you. As much money as it takes. I'd give my entire fortune for her safety. And you can see this guy is pretty rich. So let's take advantage of that and, uh... You know. You can see there's a treasure chest up there, but I can't really get up there because I don't know why. And, uh... Hi there, expensive vase. You little weasel! Well, thank you so much for coming to my home and breaking my high price of aces. If you break any more, I assure you that I shall not let it go night. No, sir, not at all. I shall require compensation. Well, he asked for it. But I'm gonna play nice and leave. Because he will actually make you pay if you break any more of those things. But yeah, that's Windfall Island the first time around. I, I will say, Windfall Island is one of my more favorite hub world type town places in a Zelda game. It's just, it's so lively and you actually really get to know a lot of these characters pretty well. Like this guy gains actually a lot of personality later on. The 
get and there's a lot of other interactions and stuff, especially with the Pictobox. I like Windbond quite a bit.